Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final, I believe, spec that is available currently in the Legion Alpha in order to get the artifact weapons. And it's going to be the Balanced Druid. I'm sorry it took so long, but something has to be last, as you can probably imagine. And the Balanced Druid is one of those, again, that's gone under significant changes. We have some nice Moonkin models and bears and stuff that'll all get changed sooner or later when we get our weapons. So it's all going to be pretty interesting. You'll notice certain things straight away, like the return of Innovate. It's back. We no longer have Stampeding Raw. Cry! Cry! Please use the links above if you want to skip straight to the Artifact Quest or the Class Hall. I'm going to do a quick overview of the changes so we kind of have an idea of what we're going to be looking at. I have yet to play this, so I'll probably make a ton of mistakes and I'll have all that good stuff and fun. Now, you'll also notice the return of Moonfire and Sunfire. They brought them back as independent spells. Very nice. We also have a new Starfall. Starfall no longer is surrounding the player. Okay, so you know now when you cast Starfall, your player just starts AoEing everything around it. Now it's targeted. It's a targeted spell. And I honestly, I've read it. I haven't casted it yet and it might be fine. But my initial question is, why? What are we trying to achieve with this? Other than make it so we don't have to go near mobs. It's never been a problem. And if we were able to get in range of Starfall, then it was fine. So I don't understand really what the point of changing it was. Especially as they've just given Frost DKs essentially Starfall with their Remorseless Winter. Uh, so we'll wait and see how that plays out. Uh, the talents I've chosen for this, I have guesswork. I've tried some new stuff so we can see what they're like. So I picked Shooting Stars, which is Moonfire and Sunfire Ticks. I have a chance to call down a Falling Star so we can see that and gain some Astral Power. So what's Astral Power, you might be asking? Well, you can see this empty bar. We no longer shift between Solar and Lunar. That's why we have both Moonfire and Sunfire. What happens now is we gain power when we deal damage, Astral Power, and then we can choose what to spend that on. So we can either spend it on Starfall, 60 Astral Power, astral power or Star Surge. Now, I don't have that because of a talent I've chosen, but that's what you'll do. You'll gain this Astral Power, and you'll generate. You'll then use that on Starfall or Star Surge. Now, if you use it on Star Surge, you will gain a buff, which will either be a Solar and a Lunar buff, or both, maybe? I don't know. And these buffs make your Lunar Strike... Yeah, we have a new spell called Lunar Strike, which is basically Starfire. But it'll buff your Lunar Strike so that it does more damage. Lunar Strike actually has an AoE component to it. So it does arcane damage to all enemies within 5 yards. Kind of the opposite, the polar opposite of Sunfire, which it does the multi-dot to every target. Or it will give you Solar Empowerment, which will buff your Solar Wrath. Okay? So it'll deal more damage there. So that's generally the idea. Which one's more powerful or whatever? I've no idea. I haven't pressed a single one of these buttons yet. I haven't attacked anything. I'm literally stood in front of the quest NPC. So we'll have a guess. So that's that's why. Uh, Warrior of a Loon next to Lunar Strikes have no cast time. Um, the thing with that is we have Alkin Frenzy, uh, I believe. I'm sure we had Alkin Frenzy. Oh. And now I look like a dum dum. I could have swore we had Alkin Frenzy baseline. Uh, is it called something else? Uh, oh, okay. Maybe I've made a wrong decision there. We could change that. Well, I believed we had Alkin Frenzy baseline, uh, which means that I don't, I shouldn't really be taking too much use of that because I'm going to be attacked and proc that. That was my thinking on it anyway. But there we go. Alpha is alpha. Uh, Star Lord, when your solar and lunar spells are in power, you reduce their cast time by 10%. Again, the same feeling I had. The reason I didn't check pick these is because i thought we had alkin frenzy uh, which obviously makes our spells in instant cast so we'll wait and see uh i love 30 of renewal for a quick heal displace a beast is cool but probably not that useful while we're just being uh, attacked straight up in the face and wild charger again same thing same reason i picked typhoon should we need to just blow things away a level 45 they've broken heart of the wild essentially into three independent talents and give them more powerful stuff. So instead of Heart of the Wild, which kind of buffed everything to a certain degree, now you will pick. So you'll have a Feral Affinity. You basically choose an off spec, which is reasonably powerful. So if you choose Feral Affinity, you gain a passive 15% movement speed, which is ultra tempting and probably what I'll take in raids. Uh, but you also get Shred, Rip, Ferocious Bite, and Swipe when you go into Cat Farm, right? Uh, if you choose the Guardian, then the same thing again. You get Thick Hide, so you take 10% less damage, also useful in raids. And you also gain access to all these bear abilities, like Growl, Mangle, Thrash, Iron Fur, and so on. And if you pick Resto, you get Rejuve, Regrowth, and Swift Mend. And you Sarah's Gift, which is passively healing you. That's why I chose it for this sort of solo experience, okay? Do you know, uh, I believe, yeah, so I could cast Rejuve on myself in Mookin Farm. I could cast Healing Touch on myself. If I Swift Mend, though, it takes me out, okay? And I'm pretty sure Regrowth does the same thing. Yeah, regrowth takes you out of Mookie Farm as well. So something to bear that in mind. Now, you might be asking, what do you get in those other farms if you don't take the affinity? Fuck all. 
If I go into bear form, I have nothing. If I go into cat form, I have nothing but prowl. Okay, I still get prowl, but other than that, I have nothing. And if I drop out of that into just normal caster farm, I just have the same stuff that you would expect in caster farm. Because obviously Resto doesn't need a specific farm in order to do something. So that's the way the wor it works now. Level 60 is up CC. Just pick Typhoon to knock things away. Level 75, Soul of the Forest. Increase the damage bonus from Lunar and Solar Empowerment by an additional 15%. I could have chosen Carnation here, but I don't think it'll be necessary. And Stellar Flare. Yeah, Stellar Flare we've seen before, so I'm not really that interested in it. Level 90, Stellar Drift. Increase the radius of Starfall. How often will we be Starfalling? Based on what I've done in the other Artifact Quests, not a lot. We won't be requiring huge AoE all the time. So I went with Force of Nature because they have Taunts. Yeah, makes sense. They have Taunts and we'll just be able to do better DPS. Nature's Balance. Not that interested in Nature's Balance. It's a nice little passive. I love 100 though. I must say, I made most of these choices based on the fact that we'll have Celestial Alignment. But then I saw Collapsing Stars. And this replaces Celestial Alignment. So we don't have Celestial Alignment as a cooldown. But this is now a 2 minute cooldown. And it burns the target for 62,000 Spellstorm damage. And then an additional 25,000 damage per second. Until your Astral Power is exhausted. So what we'll be doing with this, whereas Celestial Alignment will just buff us to go ham, with what we'll do now is build up our Astral Power and then pop this, and it's instant. So it's not channeled. It seems like it's a dot that will just burn the target for a shit ton of damage. So we'll be interested to see how that plays out. Uh, Astral Community is grants 75 Astral Power. Very cool for the pull. And Blessing of the Ancients, uh, which gains a Blessing of the Ancients, activating or swapping between one of the two. So you can pick whether you want Astral Power generating the Solar and Lunar Strike by 50%, or gain a passive Astral Power Builder. So that could be cool as well, but it's slightly boring. It's just going to generate stuff for us. So I'll go with Collapsing Stars. Let's just see how it plays out. Let us begin, Always ladies and gentlemen. Temper your strength. Summons from Moonglade. Elwina. Elwina. Your presence is requested at Moonglade at once. We are preparing for a ritual of great importance and will require your assistance. I will meet you there. So please come with haste. Okay. I love that we're going to Moonglade. Off we go. Moonglade is the classic class hall. The original. Yeah? The absolute original class hall. And it always saddened me. I think it probably shows and videos i've made over the last couple of years i've mentioned multiple times how i wish moonglade did so much more allowed us to talk to other druids or something like that hamul ruto my brother i please you came yeah me too beating the legion requires us to strike quickly and unexpectedly we have discovered a dream way by which we could travel through the emerald dream itself Though only a short walk through the dream, it will allow us to cross vast distances on Azeroth and even across the ancient home of all druids, Val Sharar. Malfurion is preparing the ritual to open the dreamway. I need you to summon Zen Tabra and Norilex. Norilex? Wasn't that that giant murloc? To his side. Only by combining our efforts can we hope to succeed. Locate them. Okay. Uh, are they... Zen Tabra should be easy to find. Her camp is on the west shore of the lake. Norilex was camping on the east shore, but he's been prone to wandering off. Just keep your eyes and ears open and you should find him. Uh, okay. Let's go and have a look-see then and see what we can find. Oh, Moonglade. I would be... I think we're going to go somewhere else than Moonglade. Uh, I would like to have stayed in Moonglade, honestly. I love this place. I absolutely love this place. It's so serene. It's so druidic. I like it. So, somebody here? Centabra. Oh, he's the bat. Hey, bat boy. Ne 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 ne. Hey, man. You not be coming to Zantabra for some fish. What you be wanting, man? Hello, man. Well, Fury is ready to begin the battle. He asks that you head to the ritual site. Bye bye now. Yeah, man. So, time to see if we can really be making this happen. It's going to be needing everything we have to give them more. It's not racist. I'm bad at it. <laughs> okay, that's you done. Uh, onwards. Yes. Yeah, stunning in its own right. It really is, but... Oh, maybe the new uh, class hall is... Uh, I'm only basing this off everybody who's had a classic class hall so that low levels and high levels don't intermix. They give them somewhere new. The Great Asatius School. Why is that floating fish? Investigate. Da -da -da! Narlex is not here, but you can faintly still detect his scent. Narlex! Da -da -da! Where are you, matey? I'm sure he was a fucking big murloc. I must be wrong. I must be thinking of somebody else. Well, obviously not. He's having a little prey. Narolex sits quietly with his eyes shut. He's asleep. Stunt quietly stunt. No. Uh, excuse me? I'm awake! Definitely not sleeping. I was just, uh, resting my eyes. I assume it is time for the ritual to begin. Very well, I'll meet you there. Fucking hell. It's just another day in the park for Narolex. Alright, let's go and do some rituals then. Just another day at the office for this chap. Awesome. 
Lake Elunara. I can't help but think of the Lord of the Rings elves whenever I read these names. <laughs> I don't want Liv Tyler, that's it. <laughs> Liv Tyler just fucking banging on. Shut up, Liv. Let your dad talk. He's well cooler. We serve the land. Okay. The preparations for the ritual are now complete. Come with me, Elwina, and I will guide you to the ceremony. All right. Are we flying? Yeah, Malfurion waits for you. By the barrowed ends to the east. Follow me. Let's ride! The Legion's arrival has thrown our world out of balance. I have sensed great unrest within the Emerald Dream. Uh, I haven't chosen an artifact weapon yet. Something to note for myself is every druid will have to do this. In Val Shara are powerful druids who grew under Cenarius' tutelage after the Great Sundering. Thorns, baby! It's got thorns on! Nice! Where's my thorns, though? I don't have thorns, do I? Their knowledge of druidism is ancient and unparalleled. Having their might on our side is essential if we are to stop the Legion. No, I don't have thorns. Boo! Gif. Oh, he's, he's cast out on me. Yeah. 69 damage. Get fucking owned. Opening the path to this ancient home of all druids will require a great deal of our power. I hope you are ready. Keeper Remulos. I know you from somewhere. Narlex and Tabra and Malfurion Story. Hey, Malfi. Greetings to you both. The tremors from the Emerald Dream have been increasing. I will direct your attention to the center of the structure. The ritual will focus our energy into a portal there. It will take much to keep it stable, but I believe your power will tip the balance. All right. Prepare yourself and step into the circle when you are ready. All right. Go. Psst. Whoa! Drew power! Oh, shit. Wrong key binding. Oh, there's RP. Excellent. The path is beginning to take form. It becomes more stable. There we go. A doorway. Dreamway is ready. Good work, everybody. That was easy. May Elum grant us strength. To the Dream Grove. So this will be our class hall then. The portal to the Dreamway is open, and it is here that our past was part. The Moonglade remains vulnerable to attacks of the Burning Legion, and I must ensure it is well defended. I am entrusting you with the mission to Val Shirar Elwina. Archdruid Great Hoof is the leader of the Druze there. He is wise in the old ways and will provide us invaluable assistance. The dream can be dangerous, so I will send Keeper Remulos to guide you. Meet with him upon the other side. All right, then. When you are ready, step through the portal into the dreamway. I will meet you on the other side. Come on, then, goat boy. Here we go. Ooh, Everbloom. Ah, freaky. Welcome to the dreamway, Alwina. A journey. Wait, I feel something disturbing. Quickly, this way. Man, this place is freaky. No, the nightmare. I will cleanse these nightmare vines from our path, but the foul taint. That, that takes a really long short amount of time. So kill all the mobs. Okay. Let's see how hard these hit. I'm assuming because Lunar Strike has that AoE component that the smart choice is to use uh, single target spells on these. Let's burn. Let's use this uh, burning ability. Wow, that animation's cool. Okay, well, let's see what it does then. Starfall. Now, what you'll have is all everything takes way more damage while in your Starfall. I'm getting hurt. So, let's Lunar Strike. Star Surge. So, you can see when I Star Surge... You see the way it's buffing my spell, so I have like three solar empowerments now. And give myself a healing touch. Might have to do quite. I mean, that's not healing me for hardly anything. So, Star Surge that. So, Star Surge seems to be giving me one charge of Luna, one charge of solar. Yeah. Man, my astral power fills up so quickly. That's really cool. I was ex I don't know why. I was expecting astral power to fill up much slower, so I'm going to have to take full advantage of that. So now I've got instant... Yeah, there I have got Alkin Frenzy. I knew it. 
I fucking knew it. I don't know why it's not in the spell book. But my Lunar Strikes were just instant cast. Uh, more? Yeah, big dude. Okay, so now we've got a full Astral Bar, so I can use Collapsing Stars. So let's dot this guy up. Let's see how much damage it does. Oh man, it does seem to burn him so hardcore. Is it still consuming it? I wonder if I can keep this going. Is that what's happening here? Oh, it totally is. Look, I'm refreshing my astral power as it's burning it for shitloads of damage. That's crazy. That is crazy. I wonder how long with like bloodlust and you're firing shitloads of solar rats. I wonder how long you can keep that going for. That's really exciting. Oh, I wish I had a damage meter to see how much that did. Uh, travel to the Dream Grove. Okay. Man, that could be so cool. It's very much like uh, Shadow Priest Insanity. It's basically the same mechanic. An ancient magic protects the Dream Grove. Here are brothers and sisters. Here are all brothers and sisters of the wilds. We'll find sanctuary. Come, we must find the druids of Valshara and ask what they say. <laughs> Look at this tree guy. <laughs> ooh, ooh. What are you doing, Bill? I feel like these two talk to each other all the time. It's like, let's put on a stupid face for people who walk through. Let's just uh, let's try and scare them. Right, I'm following with you, brother. I'm really excited to play the Moon King. The only change I don't like, and I was just expecting it would be like that, is Starfall. Like, targeted Starfall. I don't know what the point of it is. What are they trying to achieve with it? Starfall was a nice, fun, unique spell. Targeting it doesn't make it... Uh, just makes it less interesting. It's like you've just uh, taken Hurricane and changed the graphic. It feels that way anyway. It just feels less less fun. Which I'm, I'm always against spells that go from being fun spells to just boring spells. Now it just feels like any old targeted AoE. Rain of Fire, Blizzard, usual shit. Archdruid, Heart Helm, Great Tooth. Greetings, Archdruid, Great Tooth. We have travelled from far corners of Azeroth to seek your aid. Ishnuala. It has been many eons since we, <laughs> since we last spoke, son of Cenarius. Eons. Literally eons. Indeed, I wish our meeting were under better circumstances. Surely you have felt the tremors from the Emerald Dream. Uh huh. Yes, the trees groan in agony as they are uprooted for war, Lord of the Rings. And the flowers scream as they burn beneath the feet of our old foe. Our world and the dream are in great danger. Well, the dream looks pretty chill. Then we must act swiftly before all is lost. We must prepare the weapons of old war. Old for war once again. Yeah, we should. Good plan. The weapons of the first druids, the powers they contain will surely turn the tide in our favour. But is there anyone strong enough to wield them? Flex. Who's laughing at me? I flexed and she laughed. There is no one better suited for this task than El Winner. Yeah, yeah. Pre-made. Very well, El Winner. The weapons of the first druids each embody an aspect of our teachings. Obtaining them will not be easy, but we shall do all that we can to aid you in your task. Right, so I've got to choose my artifact now. This means that when you guys who are uh, resto or even bears, when you come to do your artifact quest, be a DPS spec, be feral or something, because you're going to have to go through that uh, section I just did there in the, the, the dream walk or whatever it was. Right, select an artifact. Balance, give me the side of the balloon. Yeah, buddy. Ishnuala. Go in peace. A lunar door, Elwina. I will speak with you at once. Okay, here we go. I have received word that Tarand herself has authorized the release of a great artifact, the Scythe of a Loon, to aid our cause. Valon Stilbow has agreed to give up the weapon, which he has kept as part of an investigation into the cursed wagon of Duskwood. Are we going back to Karazhan again? No, really? I believe that you, champion, will be our best hope at wielding its power without succumbing to the animal rage that ebbs within. You must go to Duskwood and take up the side against our foes. Meet with Valorn Stilbow in the Twilight Grove in Duskwood. Oh, I hope not. Follow me. The Dream Grove has its own gate to the Dreamway. Through it, you'll be able to quickly travel to the far corner of Azeroth. Yeah, I know. Moose! Canada! Oh, I want moose. Not the stag. I want a moose. Moose. <laughs> These guys are so funky. 
Oh. He even has, like, clippy clops. Seal farm hype. Yeah, you're doing it wrong, moose boy. Yeah. The Emerald Dreamway. This place is so fucking creepy. Drink in the creepiest. What is that? I like it. I love this place. Alright, optional. Travel through the Dreamway to Duskwood. Uh, under construction. I wonder where all these places take you. Interesting. One of them's got to be Dalaran, I suppose. Oh, it'd just be the other artifact quests? Yeah. Uh, well, this one. That's where the point of the map is. Kind of tempted to jump down there, but I think it might rip. Every time that something's gone wrong in one of these artifact quests, it's ended really badly. Uh, the Twilight... Oh, it takes... Of course it does! Man, I'm such a fucking moron. It takes you to where all the green dragons spawn. Yeah, I know where we are. Oh, God, I'm so dumb for not realizing that was what it would do. Hello. Uh, champion arrives. We've been sent by Tarand bearing a weapon that may turn the tide of this war. Oh, do you just have it? You must take up the side of the loon, champion. May its power serve you well. Cool. How may I help? It's rightful place. Though it goes against my better judgment, it is Tarand's wish that the side of the loon be brandished once more against the new legion threat. It is a small comfort to see it wielded by a keeper of the balance such as yourself. Know that the last time the scythe was wielded, it resulted in great calamity. You must be vigilant to contain the bestial wrath which ebbs within. With those words in your heart, take our scythe and bring its fury against our foes. May the light of a loon protect you. Nice. It's Odin! The scythe belongs to Karazan Worm. Well, he has the scythe. He just ninjaed it. What a rogue. That was a dark rider. It fucking was. I don't know where he's going. A foe of the dark. I cannot believe the dark riders found us here. Long have they hunted the side to sate their lust for the artifacts of Azeroth. We thought we would be protected within the grove. And now, Valon is gone. You must become the hunter, Elwinner. Seek the dark riders and recover the side. We last encountered them near Manamus Mantle in Duskwood. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I'm not going to skip too much. I mean... Okay, let me put it this way. If you've watched the Death Knight and Warlock artifact quest, you can probably skip through this unless you're really interested in the story and don't know it yet. Because it will differ ever so slightly. But ultimately, this is I can guarantee you this is going to be exactly the same as what those guys do. Because Aradens already involved. And if you don't know who, if you've not watched anything, you were just looking forward to the balance video, stick with us. I'll still read everything out as if it was your first time watching. I would certainly recommend for anyone else to probably skip ahead. Uh, because we're going to repeat exactly what we did before. Hey, buddy. Me again. Okay. First, the Nightbane are driven mad, and now a druid comes to investigate Manimus Mansell. This must mean the side of a loon is returned to Duskwood, and the Dark Riders cannot be far behind. So, yeah, I will pretend as if I've never done this, but I'm pretending. Tell me what you seek, druid, and maybe of assistance. Ah, nice cup of tea. Let's go. Can I help you? So I was correct. The side is, the side is your quarry. Know that in order to retrieve it, we must do we must do what no denizen of Duskwood has ever attempted. We must hunt the Dark Riders. I have been tracking them for some time since my encounter with them while hunting hunting down the Wolf Cult. They are a blight upon these lands, and they hold no right to the artifacts they hoard. If we wish to recover this artifact, we will need to find their lair. Fortunately, I may have the clue we need. In my previous confrontation with your foe, I was able to see a glimpse into their past. Granted blessed vision by the Cloak of Purity, I saw the Dark Riders for who they once were. Come, we must go to Aridan's camp in Deadwind Pass. I can explain its significance along the way. Have a good one. Cool. No worries. Did that get him? Nice. I wonder if Lunar Strike is a DPS bonus at like two mobs. Man, this feels so nice. I'm not going to lie. This Lunar Empowerment feels so nice. In fact, no, I'm going to leave it with Shooting Stars for now. But I was just thinking, look how much your Astral Power fills back up. That is cool. Uh, if you're not sure what this are, if you haven't seen it, because it only dropped, I believe, in one of my other videos. Uh, you use this in your class hall, you'll gain 10 artifact power. Okay, which allows you to unlock more stuff. So these seem to be dotted around in uh, 
sort of high level zones. You'll probably get them while leveling. I'm looking forward to doing the leveling stuff soon. But yeah, this gets some serious fucking pace on it. In fact, you could turn that up probably. Their cast time is reduced by 10%. Yeah, we could do some funky stuff here. We'll wait and see. I mean, I'm kind of tempted at this point to take uh, Stellar Flare, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what we'll do. So here with three mobs, I mean, I'm almost sure at this point using Lunar Strike is the best way to go. Oh, we are monsters. See, I don't even want to use... What I'm doing there is I don't even want to use my single target. Although that knockback's really annoying. Yeah, we just minced them completely. I was actually just using my Star Surge to get another charge of Lunar Strike. Cause so it does the AoE splash. Your skill in combat is impressive. I know, right? We may yet survive this. Tell me about it, buddy. Aridem was the first of the Dark Riders. And now I believe he leads them. I hope we don't get attacked again. This camp is still in Deadwind Pass, strangely untouched after all these years. Mm. Oh, don't tell me if I move ever so slightly far away. If my convictions are correct, the key to finding the Dark Riders as well as the artifacts they cover can be found here. Uh -huh. I kind of wish Star Surge was off the global cooldown. That would be nice. Oh, this is kind of cool. I don't want to lie. The play style of the Mookie, and I can dig this. I can really dig this empowerment system. You know why? Because in fucking what? You don't make any choices with your Mookie. Now I'm making choices. I'm already making more choices now in this little area than I was making at all in Walls of Draenor. Thank the heavens. Thank a loon. Yeah, more appropriately. Thank a loon. You see that? You guys think I don't know about law. There you go. Thank a loon. Hey there. Come on. There we go. Let's press up. We're nearly there. Yeah. Thank Storm Rages. Malfurion Storm Rage. Scenarius. I can name them all. You test me. No problem. I got this, guys. I'm a warrior of a loon. There we go. Here, the camp is in the clearing. Let us search it and see what we can find. Yeah, yeah. I think, I, honestly, so far, the only thing that hasn't made me feel better about the Moonkin is Starfall. Change it back. Just, just change it back. It was such a cool spell. There's nothing wrong with the way it worked. Really? This place is where the merchant Aridens set up camp while he was trying to ply his dubious wares to the sorcerer Medivh. It has remained strategically untouched for all this time, which leads me to believe it may still have a connection to its former owner. Help me search the camp. Let's see if we can find something to lead us to the Dark Riders. Search around the camp for clues, of course. Clue number one. And clue number two. Lunar strike! Turn away now, interloper. The horrors of the past will be your undoing. Yeah. Dark energy hums from the journal, which appears to be the writings of Aridan, and chronicles his time in Deadwind Pass. One entry in particular stands out. The Nightbane have become restless of late, and whispers are abound at the scythe of a loon having left Darnassus. It must be coming nearer, for the Worgen are constantly drawn to it. They will lead me to it. Those cursed Night Elves think that the weapon is safe in their care. They will soon find how wrong they are. Follow the tracks of the Worgen. The Nightbane. If they are in Deadwind Pass, then we may be seeing the side of as well. Let's split up and try to track them down. We'll see where the trail leads. Okay, follow the Worgen tracks. There they are. There we go. Feral Nightbanes. Doggies! Yay! I'm not killing any dogs, game. Just so you know. I'm just saying I'm not killing any doggies. 
If they are little wolfies. Cute little wolfy bastards. I refuse. Where are you going, wolfies? Goldrin's power will be ours, Night Elf. Oh, I'm going to have to kill the doggies. This sucks. Everything always has me killing doggies these days. Every game I play has me killing some dogs. The Wargan escaped down the cliff toward Karazhan. The side of the balloon belongs to the Wargan. Yeah, there we go. Dog counter, go. I know you guys will. <laughs> God, so much astral power. I can't even keep up. When all the dots start ticking, holy shit. It's like an astral power fiesta. Oh, dude, get lost. So you'll note that you get multiple charges. So you like have two charges of lunar empowerment now. Ready for turning. Where? Over there. Okay. Down here. What are you doing down here? Ah. You need something. The Deadwind Hunt. The war would appear to be drawn to the catacombs beneath Karazan. Could it be? The sewer gate leads to the catacombs underneath Karazan. I've never paid much attention, but it seems to, seems to be where the Nightbane are drawing near to. To think the Dark Riders may have come under our noses this entire time. Come, let us see where this leads. Let's go. Take care. There is a dark energy emanating from the spirits of this place. We had best not get too close. Oh. Yeah, just watch when all these dots start ticking. Watch my astral power. Holy shit. Can't even keep up. Yeah, I'll confess you. There it is. Fucking knew, I knew we had it. Stupid game. It's probably in a different spell book. I'm just being a big noob. Love the multi-dotting. That is going to be crazy. Star surges everywhere. Although it might get tuned down for sure. If it synergizes well with AoEing. Oh man. Yeah. How far down does it go? I can't star surge quick enough. That's really funny. Let's have a little heal. I do miss Stampy Rock. I don't even have Cat Dash. You get Cat Dash with Feral Affinity? No. Uh, at least we have Displacer Beast, I suppose. Luna Strike! Man, that feels nice. That feels as bursty as anything I've played down here once that shit gets going. And look at my still power. Oh, baby. Find a way to cross the uh, thingy. Solar beam. La 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 la. I just want some astral power. Because of this guy. Right, let's burn him. Let's use this big cooldown. Right, now what we need to do, guys, is keep that DPS up without using... Look how much this keeps burning for. Just a constant burn. Look at my astral power not even going down. While this thing fucking ticks. I mean, but I don't get any... I see, I wonder if it's balanced with the fact that you're not getting, like, empowered versions. But I bet under Bloodlust, where you're firing enough, you can actually fit some star surges in there. Okay, let's get the star. The scythe. There she blows. I would have played the shit out of this class. I'm not even joking. So this is what you're after. The articles of Karazhan belong here, and I will not allow them to be taken away. 
You have no rights to these artifacts, fiend. They must be reclaimed in the name of the light. Your light does not reach here, priest. If you want the scythe, druid, come and get it. Yeah, yeah. I'm on it. Uh, adds, yeah. Oh, that awkward moment where your Sunfire didn't quite reach. Boo! Man, Lunar Strike spell effect is so good! So, so good. I'll take it. Shit! Oh, man, get the fuck out of my way as I melt your face! I knew you didn't get it. What a loser. Yeah, it plays off itself because it's giving all the extra solar power as you do it. All the extra. I mean, pretty much, you're going to be always empowered. I mean, at this point, it feels like you might even be struggling not to, like, waste astral power. In which case, are we going to keep up a collapsing stars, like, indefinitely almost? I don't know, man. Choices, choices. Choices, choices. Much testing to be done, much playing to be done. Defeat Iron End. Will do, buddy. I haven't even used my uh, Treons. Did I spec out of them? No, I didn't. Let's just, let's just use them. Oh, they're there. Treons. All right, dots on. Collapsing stars. Uh, let's see if we can... Yeah, if I try and fit in... Yeah, it's wore off, you see. Yeah, couldn't really fit in a Star Surge, which is okay. I'm fine with that. The side's all powered iron. Keeping away from you. Oh, what? I've never seen this before. What does it do? Stunned. Oh. <laughs> oh, stop it. Keeping away from you? I don't have, like, a... Well, I, do. I could have specced into a slow, I suppose. Just let the dots kill him, then. Ha ha! Got the, got the wrath off. Using tangling roots. No! Just let the dots kill him. Star Surge! Ha ha ha! He should do something during Blood Reap to make it punishing. Just as a, a tidbit there to the feedback. Claim the side of a loon. Here we go, baby! Alkin Frenzy can periodically trigger with that. <laughs> what? Are you joking? Oh my god, that's cool. I wonder how often. Training dummy! I need a training dummy immediately! Daddy needs a training dummy. Yeah, you gonna come and tell me you're taking all the other artifacts? You are shit at this, by the way, because I know for a fact I only have like a third or something of all the specs in the game, and at least three of them keep taking artifacts from you. You have proven an unexpected ally, Druid. The artifact is yours, and let us hope it can turn the tide of war. Now let us leave this place. The Dark Riders we have lost this battle, but I fear they will turn. We had best get be gone before they do. Interesting. Unless it says it here. Today was a great blow against the Dark Riders and victory for the people of Duskwood. They are in your debt, as am I. The Burning Bond, your assistance against the Dark Riders has proven a great service to the light. Through our beliefs may separate us, I know we share one goal. You have allowed me to fill my purpose. In return, you allowed me to fill my. Oh, fill, fill? I think you wanted to say there, please. To fill my purpose in returning these artifacts to their rightful owners. And for this, I am thankful. As for the side of a loon, I can, I can think of no safer place than in your care. May it serve you well against the Legion, O Winner. That's interesting, because in all the other versions, he absolutely this guy absolutely hates you. And he's like, Be just get, get out of my sight. Take your weapon and get out of my sight. I never want to see you again. Uh, I got a new spell to return to the Dream Grove, I think. Uh, did I? Dream Walk, that's it. Oh, I take a knee! Check me out, doing my uh, Neo-style leap into the Dream Walk. <laughs> Yeah, it is exactly like that as well. It's like a beaming up. That's so cool. I like it. This is really, really, really fun. I like it when it's really fun. It's so much better than the boring slow ones. Which is kind of obvious, but still, when it happens, gotta drink it in. It's been so rare since I've been excited about WoW. Not crash. <laughs> that would really that would really piss on my chips if it crashed. Come on. He's on an SSD. You got this. Please. Please. And we're here! Excellent! Okay, let's go see our druid. 
It only took about six seconds after I said I'll cut the video. <laughs> but there, there we go. If you see a training dummy, I love talking to YouTube comments. But if you see a training dummy, let me know. Because I want to see how often I'll, I'll can Prenti procs. It must have a training dummy here somewhere, unless they don't believe in battle. I am on. The scythe of the loon? I never thought I would see that weapon used without turning its wielder into a savage beast. But you've brought balance to the force. A loon has certainly guided your hand, Elwinner. You've accomplished what no druid has done before. Yeah. Your weapon is ancient and powerful, but it holds the potential to be so much more. Take this seed. It is all that remains of a forest that grew tall when the world was young. Plant it within the grove to the west and allow it to take root. With its power, both it and your weapon will be far more than they are alone. Plant the seed of ages. This is cool. Very cool up here. What are these? These are weapons. Are these all the different druid weapons? All the different size skins? Yeah. Uh, I like this one. I do like the energy one with the moon on it. I think that looks really cool. Plant the seed. Good. This seed holds a magic from when the world was still young. As you shall see soon, this will prov prove very useful. Yeah. I'm listening. These weapons were crafted with ancient magic. The true power of your artifact lies in its ability to grow in strength. The more you use it, the stronger it will become. Now that you have attuned your weapon to the Seed of Ages, you can use its magic to unlock additional attributes. The stars. So I kind of think, I kind of get the feeling this thing's going to grow as we make our weapon more powerful. So let's use one of these as well. Usually it's 10. Yeah, it's 10 artifact power, so that's no, not much use. New Moon. Deals 5,000 arcane damage to your current target. Empowers new moon to become half moon? The fuck does that mean? New moon, half moon? Did I miss something? New moon, half moon? What the fuck? I need a train dummy! The sign of the night sky. Something cool goes here. Cool. <laughs> Power of Goldrin. Casting Sausage summons the spirit of Goldrin who bites the target's soul. Fucking hell. And Moon and Stars, while in Celestial Alignment, each spell cast gains an additional 3% spell cast speed buff. How does that play into Celeste Collapsing Stars? Oh, man. I really need to know. If it's, Does it speed up your casting so you can stay in Collapsing Stars more? I don't know. I don't know. I want to know. What brings you here? Oh, it grew. Oh, you see that? Oh, look. It grows into a little, uh, little thing when you click it. Yeah, look. I didn't. I never noticed this earlier because I was looking over here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Peace be with you. All right, so we've got the weapon. Speak to Malfurion. Oh shit! Big dog's here. Wasn't he sticking behind? Oh. Arch Druid Hell Great Hoof. It's rare that I'm proving wrong, and in this case, I'm glad that I was. You're already more powerful than many of the most senior of our order. Yeah, I sense that you still have much more power, more growth ahead of you. That's right. Ultimate badass coming through. Still can't see a training dummy, though. In time, I suspect your powers will reach heights undreamed of. Yeah. Shando. Shando Malfurion. Shando Malfurion? Go and be recognized for your accomplishments. Hail to the night. Speak with Malfurion. Yeah, hello, I am ready. It's good to see you, Albina. I just heard about your deeds from Remulos. Well done. It is time that you are recognized for your deeds. Yeah, make me the badass. Placeholder, something recounting the player's efforts to get to this point. Placeholder, something inspiring about the player. Something, something inspiration. It is my honor to welcome our winner as an archdruid of the Cenarian Circle. May all the creatures of the wild share in celebration of your ascension. Something, something. Dark side. Where'd he go? Off your head? Malfi? Bro? Aha! S sneaky. Hail to the night. It's time that we broke... Yeah, so now we get to choose where to go. Cool. 
Okay, the circle has got to get the pond to the east. Go and meet with Skylord on your for an update on the situation. Yeah, let's do that. And show me... Oh, we can have monuments here as well. I hadn't noticed these earlier in any of the others, in fact. I'm just going to have a little browse around, if you don't mind. Let's see what we've got going on here. We've got some... Oh, we got some fucking... Some druid poon. Nice. Well, you know we turn into beasts and shit. Animals. Rah. What's in here? Oh, this is the like the girls' room, I suppose. Okay. I can't believe I don't have dash. Oh. You're killing me, Blaze. Seriously. You give with one hand and you take away with the other. Why would I not have dash? Uh... Let's, uh, let's take this. No, replace the spell that's also in that tier. Please, thank you. Flay. Right. So everyone's over there. Let's just go around the back here a second. So, yeah, we can have a monument there. Have we got any new ones? Not yet. What's in here? The retreat. Is this the bar? This is like my room, I suppose. But it's got trolls in it, so I'm not sure about that. Who sleeps up there where there's like no way of getting there? That's crazy. Yeah, this be your place now. Cool, this is my bedroom. Zen, Zen Kiki wants to be big and powerful like you. I'd be thinking I stay here and be watching over your place. Keep it real good and tight. These are my cleaners. Then sometimes you can be teaching me some tips. This is like my uh, my protege. What you say, man? Yeah, definitely, man. I'm in for it. Cool. I'll train you. You're like my little troll bitch. I'm into it. As a female night elf, I can get down with some tusk action. Fuck yeah. Better grease that son bitch, though. I'm a lady. Training dummy. All right, we're taking the long way around to where we're supposed to go, just so we can find it. If there is one, there might not be. These druid guys are always a bit namby-pamby about getting into a fight. Despite the fact that they can, like, crush the world. Uh-oh. What is that troll doing to my house? This place is enormous. Look at the size of this fucking thing. The map doesn't even show it. Look at all these little crevices. You gotta hope that obviously, I mean, this is alpha, so you gotta hope this place is gonna be like really fleshed out. I would like to, I'd like to add so much. I hope there's some customization here. Like, I want to flesh this place out. Oh shit! What? No, 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 no. I want to give it so much more activity. Ah, instant loading time. Nice. Okay. Uh, I believe that we... Yeah, we came round down like down there, I think. So... Oh, did I go up there? Yeah, I did. Okay. So that takes us out. That's like the doorway out of here. Gotcha. No training dummy, I don't think, then. Mm. All the sads. Oh, maybe over here. There's all sorts of shit going on here. Yeah. Ah, uh, no training dummy. Uh, is there one in Dalaran? I can probably find one. I am on. Making the trail. Select your first order of operations. Which doesn't work yet, I don't believe. Yep. Still not working. Okay, cool. Don't worry about uh, that map business, by the way. The zones are open, as you've probably seen on the stream, so you just have to sort of make your own way there. Stop being such a lazy ass. Let's go find a training dummy. I just want to see. I'm just curious about two things. Uh, one is how often does this proc Alk in Frenzy so far? Like, is it a lot? Because that would be really cool. And what was the other ability we got? It's an artifact weapon, which is this one, I think. Uh, new moon. What is this new moon, half moon business? Like, what's going on there? Are there training dummies in Dalaran? Fuck if I can remember. And I'm Alliance, which means I'll have to try and find one in like Stormwind or something. I don't know where they are. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last my last one uh, for now, anyway, of the uh, artifact guides. I don't think there is training dummies in Dalaran. 
I'm actually sure there isn't. I'm bound to be wrong, aren't I? Oh, are they, uh, wait a minute. Are they, were they in the sewers? I think they were. Anyway, whatever. Let's go to uh, Ogrimmar. Oh, storm window, whatever the fuck. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is the Horde place, isn't it? Where's the Alliance one? I have never been Alliance in Dalaran. Brohorn. At least they don't kill me for trying to get in there. I'm pretty sure you couldn't even go in there in the original Dalaran. I think it kicked you out if you tried to go into the uh, like the opposing factions area. It's it's here. Well, there's the Alliance flag, so I'm going to take it as yes. I know it's probably... Uh, I'm waiting for comments that... Yeah, there's totally training dummies in Dalaran. I was like... Eh. Uh, Vale of, oh, Vale of the Tunnel Blossoms will do. I know where they are. Okie dokie. Yep, perfect. Where's the Alliance ones? There we go. Okay. Uh, so. Let's do not put it on my bars. New moon. Have I come all this fucking way? It's not even put the spell on my bar. It has, it's put it there. Okay. Let's put it on Q. All right. All right. Let's read to make sure. Is it, is it dot damage or single target damage? It just says Alk and Frenzy can periodically trigger. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's one. So let's fire that off. And again? What? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, show me another one. Maybe it's like two procs per minute. Three, maybe. Ah. Uh... Yeah, it's not procking for a while now. Read up. So I think you just have to be in combat for this effect to occur. Yeah, I'm looking at like two procs a minute. At like a very fucking rough estimate here. Yeah, it's been a while. Two procs a minute-ish. Maybe more. Does multi dying affect it in any way? I doubt it. Nah, not really. Still not procced again. Holy cow. Maybe one proc a minute. Yeah. I was expecting it to be a little bit more than this. Also begs the question, as your artifact gets more powerful, does it... Um Starfall doesn't last very long. Oh, it's the same. Just spell that way. It does beg the question, if uh, once you're upgrading your artifact weapon, do these prop chances change? Potentially. Still no other proc. So we have those two very, very quickly. And then, I'm just, I just like it to proc once more, so I get a feel of it. But in the minute, it's looking at like one proc a minute. Which is pretty goddamn low. Especially if you get them back to back and then you just go for ages without them. I mean, it's not a big deal. See, the trinkets are coming back up now. And there it is. Right, so it's pretty much the same as the trinkets. 15%, uh, yeah, 15% chance. Okay. So it's a, somewhere around there. So look like one proc a minute. Right then. Um, empowers new moon to become half moon. So let's find a new moon. And now we get half moon. Deals arcane damage. Is it just swap between solar and arcane? Is that it? Half moon. Right. Deals 20,000. Grants 100 lunar power? What? Let's, let's get rid of this. Right, so full moon. Gives you 100, 100 astral power. Or lunar power, I should say. So then you reset it. Ah, I get this. This is very cool. Okay. So you get to fire it off and you get 100 solar power. Uh, 100 astral power. And then you fire off the shitter version, which is this one. Right? And what you're trying to do is get it back to being full moon, which will grant you the 100 astral power. Then half moon, which then becomes the full moon. Right. 
Really interesting. So two, you have to go through two cycles. So full moon. So here we go. We'll get full astral power here. It says lunar power, but I think it just means astral. Yeah. And then it's new moon. So we go new moon. Then you go quarter moon. Uh, half moon, I should say. Then you get another full moon. So you'll have to manage that. That's cool. Something else to manage along the way. Blizz, you are a fucking superstar. Really enjoying Moonkin. Can't wait to play more of this. Can't wait. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Please check the end of the video for uh, links to other videos you may enjoy. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.